Hey guys, so I'm back today with a new video. Um, this one's going to be an eyebrow tutorial. Obviously, I've already done my full face. Um, normally, I do my eyebrows before I do my eyeshadow. That's just what I've always done and just how I've always done my makeup. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I just decided to go ahead and do my full face and then leave the eyebrows for last. Right now, my eyebrows have nothing on them. They might have a little bit of foundation just from when I was doing my makeup in general. But as far as like any eyebrow products, there's nothing on them. You can obviously tell that I do have like little blank areas throughout the eyebrow itself. That's why I usually fill in my eyebrows. So today, I'm just going to do my eyebrows how I've been doing them recently. I haven't been doing them as dark as I used to get started then. Um, I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hill products pretty much for everything with the exception of my um, concealer. But I'll show you guys everything that I'm using as I go. So I'm going to take Anastasia Beverly Hill 12 brush. It has an angle brush on one end and then the spoolie on the other. So I'm going to grab the spoolie part and I'm just going to brush my eyebrows up and then to the side. Just to make sure that they're all kind of in place and they're not all over doing their own thing. Has anybody noticed that I have a different camera and the quality looks so much different than my iPad? I hope you guys noticed. I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and this is in the shade Chocolate. I'm going to dip it in here. And I'm not really like swiping my brush in the product itself. I'm literally just like patting it lightly onto the product. I don't want to pick up too That's much. why a lot of people have such mixed feelings about the dip brow in general. Because they feel like it just, it's too harsh of a product. And it just gives you kind of like those sharpie eyebrows. But honestly, like this product, it being so pigmented um you definitely have to be really really careful with how much product you're putting on your brush less is definitely more when it comes to the dip brow go ahead i'm just going to start outlining the bottom of my eyebrow following the actual shape of my eyebrow already So this eyebrow, the tail part is a lot shorter than this eyebrow. So when it comes to this one, I have to kind of like fake my tail. So I just elongated a little bit by doing really light strokes outwards. I'm barely putting like any pressure on the brush itself. And what helps too, like if you tend to be really heavy handed, the way that your hand is from the brush, you put less pressure on it, so therefore the lines aren't going to come out as harsh. Whatever's left on my brush itself, then I'll start working that onto the inner part of the eye. With the spoolie part, I'm going to go and I'm just going to comb all that out. Just to make sure that any excess product that's just kind of hanging around will kind of come off and it'll just give you more of a softer effect. So I really tend to work that, especially in the uh, the inner part of the eyebrow. I'll go back and kind of touch up any areas that I might have brushed out a little bit too much. and carve out my eyebrows so I'm going to be using bare minerals concealer in the shade light 2 and I'm going to be using my Sephora concealer brush in the number what is this the number 45 
then with my finger, I'll just blend that line out. That was it. That was my eyebrow tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Um, if you have any questions, then please leave them down below. I do plan on doing some um, makeup tutorial. I'll have details on my eyeshadows and my eye makeup and my lip color and all that stuff on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me on there, then go ahead and do Thank so. you guys so much for watching. Watching? Watching. And I will talk to you guys soon. Mwah.